Hi everybody, welcome to Bam's Racket Review and today we are going to let you get a, sne you know, a sneak preview of what Bamton Racket Review is actually all about. So what we're really surprised by, despite all the social media efforts and despite all the videos we've made, it seems to me that some people uh, still don't quite understand what it is that we're offering. So what we thought is we will get off uh, out of the studio for a second and jump onto the PC, get in on the screen and show you around the Badminton Racket Review website because first of all if you're already a member still you need to watch this because we're going to show you the exact parameters on how to use Badminton Racket Review. Secondly if you're looking to become a member it's absolutely invaluable to you to see this video and see exactly how the website actually operates. Um, before we go there, there's three things, there's one thing I want to say, and that is when you're considering a badminton racket, it's very important you as a player have some idea of three key factors. First of all, the balance of the racket. What balance do you prefer? I prefer to play with even balance rackets. Some people prefer to play with head heavy rackets, and some people prefer them as head light as possible. You need to know what you prefer. Point two. What stiffness do you like to play with? The racket stiffness is also a, a crucial factor because rackets that are really, really stiff are very hard to get good repulsion off for most players. And actually, if you're trying to smash with a very stiff racket, you're having to really force your arm around to get the flex uh, from the shaft and that can start to cause injury and that has done in many, many people. Tennis elbow is made a lot worse with rackets such as those. And finally, not as important as the first two, but still good to know what weight racket works for you. This is an area that is more flexible. Some people could get a stiffer racket that's towards the head in terms of balance, but it's very light and therefore those parameters don't make take much effect. However, you take those same parameters, head heavy and stiff shaft, and throw them onto a 94 gram racket, and suddenly you start to feel a big difference in how you're playing with the racket, and how you're feeling using the racket, how much repulsion you're getting from the shuttlecock. So the first one that uh, I think you've got to consider is balance point, the second is the shaft stiffness, and the third point is the overall weight of the racket. Try to figure that out. Try to know what works for you. That will help you a lot going into the Badminton Racket Review E-Zone. Once you're in the E-Zone, we will talk you through that shortly, but then you've got to start thinking about what matters to you. Are you a smash crazy person? You're going to just look at the smash scores. No problem. The, the site has been set up to cater for that. Are you going to be looking for overall performance, something that gives you all-round playability? Another thing worth considering before you hit the site. The last recommendation is try not to be too prejudgmental on the manufacturer or the range. Try not to be. Try to have an open mind and look at all rackets because you'll be surprised by how many great rackets there are that so many of us are simply not familiar with. Okay, that's enough of me talking. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump onto my laptop and we're gonna have a look at Badminton Racket Review. So here we are. This is the homepage of Badminton Racket Review uh, where we land and as we scroll down here, the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is it tells you a lot about us what we've been through in our story. Rigorous testing really is just about the sort of testing that we do, which many of you are familiar with. How best to use a site really tells you about some of the stuff I've just mentioned in the video, understanding rackets and the dynamic of a racket. But all of these are available. If you go right down to the bottom here, you can see all of these here. And I would recommend taking a quick look, you know, at the racket guide, how to choose a racket, the rigorous testing and, and the racket a badminton racket broken down into sections, although most of you will understand that already, still worth having a look. And over here we have our social media connections. Right, now we are a step ahead of you, but if you're coming in here, what you'll need to do is go to the Racket Review E-Zone. You need to have signed up. And once you've signed up, it will take you back to the home screen. Then you press Racket Review E-Zone again, and you will get this page. So, find badminton rackets. Here it says, find badminton rackets. And this is a quick results page made for people who want quick results. So, 
We have a lot of top 10 segments all around performing rackets in the world, top 10 best rackets for control, maneuver, smash, even smash, head heavy smash, medium stiff, most flexible. So there's loads of rackets, um, there's, sorry, there's loads of top 10 options and what these are designed to do, I'll just give you, uh, is you can pick any one of these by clicking on them and once you've chosen the one you feel is most appropriate for you, you simply press view. So let's take uh, top 10 most flexible shop, because that's quite a rare, there's not many rackets I know that slot into that, so let's press view. Okay, and down here it says 12 rackets found, racket found, 12 rackets. So here we have a list of those rackets, and because it's showing one to 10 of overall 12 records, we know this is only showing 10, but there are 12 records, we just press that checkbox and go for either all, actually for the sake of this video I'm just going to press all and that will now load up all of those results so you can see here the results so here we'll have the range name, manufacturer, the model reference, what kind of player we feel it could be suitable for, um, the maneuver speed, shaft stiffness, the overall racket weight, the smash speed, the balance point and control now and the overall score. What matters to you out of those? In the video earlier I mentioned that balance point is very important so we can click that and that will arrange the balance point, balance point in order. As you can see here starting at 298 dropping all the way down to 312 or if you don't like it that way around you can do it the other way around so it starts higher a uh, higher balance point and drops it down to the lowest balance point. You can do that for any of these. You can change the way the information appears just like you can in any Excel sheet. Right, so once you've got an idea, let's say we're going to go for our overall score here. So we're going to go for the 86, that's a pretty good score. And now to see more about this racket, you have to go here and you'll notice as I go across the uh, mouse starts to show you the option of clicking, which so a hand appears. See the hand appear there? Press that, and that will open a new page, and in that page, we have the Babolat Satellite Gravity 78G page, and this tells us all about the racket. So we've got a review here from somebody. So Nico Gebhardt is one of our members, and he's written about what he thinks, and he's given it a five-star review. Um, so here is our overall score, 86 I can tell you is very very high, um, it tells you the weight, so this is with the string and grip, this is the manufacturer's spec and this is ours and it's very rare that they're exactly the same but that is exactly the same, it says it's medium flexible, we think it's flexible, this is the maneuver speed and smash speed score which they obviously do not give. Um, to understand this area better, uh, you have five categories which are totaled together to give us this score. The weight versus power is essentially the weight of the racket versus the smash score of the racket done in a ratio calculation which gives us a score. So this being so low in weight and yet giving quite a good smash speed gave it a very good score. Equally, it travels through the air very quickly at 40 kilometers an hour but still weighs so little um, it, in actual fact, because if it's weighing so little, what actually would have happened is it would have been slightly penalised for that in the scoring system. So if that was a 90 gram racket and it travelled at 40, uh, I think the score would have been a little bit higher there. So moving on to this area, this essentially is the JPEG area. So this gives you an, uh, the overall dimensions of the racket. These are all independently measured. That's just to give you an idea what it looks like close up and the shaft. And these are all images taken in house at Bamton Racket Review. Now, down here we have the test images. So, the test images we have the smash. When I talk to you on the videos, this is exactly what's going on. We are measuring the shuttle speed as it's traveling. You can see the recorded shuttle speed here, the distance from the racket when this speed is recorded the head speed of the racket and and this is a way of looking at repulsion so the higher the percentage the better the rate of energy transfer from the racket to the shuttle 35% is pretty good 
And these are all our basically JPEGs of the testing uh, so that you know we've actually done the testing and the results have been collaborated from this. This is the swing weight, which is the closest piece of machinery that allows you to understand the feel of a racket. Right, and here are the videos which you've seen on YouTube. So these are the Smash, Maneuver and Control. Now these, this racket is one of the earlier rackets that we tested. What we've added now in the last seven, uh, 50 to 60 rackets is uh, an actual video. So we're going to go back to the racket review zone. I'm back here in the racket review E zone. Now to see more than just the quick results and to see the full selection of rackets available in badminton racket review, you have to press the filter the rackets tab. And here we get a range of options. So now you can toggle across for any of these at whatever suits your preference. You can toggle across and it will take that into consideration before it shows you a selection of rackets. And if you don't quite understand what this is, it actually has a little explanation in these information icons here. Okay. Right. So you can go by manufacturer. So uh, let's say we're looking at Kawasaki. We type in K-A-W or K-A and Kawasaki and Karakal come up. If it's, um, let me think, well, we just done Babalat. So we type in Babalat in manufacturer and you see Babalat appear. So you can choose any of those that you want. Now, if it's a range you're looking for, you can type in, uh, let's see, let's see, 3D. So the 3D break free will show up. Uh, what other ranges are there? You can see Voltric on the screen. You can see Nanoray on the screen already. I'm trying to think other ranges. Let's take Windstorm. So Windstorm there is, it shows up straight away. You press that and you press the yellow filter button. And the results, it says five rackets found. So here are the five Windstorm rackets that we have tested. And what we're going to do is, again, it's the same as I showed you before. You can, you can rearrange these however you want to rearrange them in whatever order but to see this windstorm i'll look at the 72 because i think this one has a review video we press the leaning button on the left that opens up a new page and here we have the same kind of format uh, in the editor's note we do sometimes put the grip size and the, the maximum recommended tension but most importantly here is the video detailing the review of this racket so I'm just going to play that I'm not sure how this is going to play back on another video but if we just forward it a little bit um, there are some uh, manufacturers which sell this racket um, into the UK but they are not UK based most of the leaning rackets do now have this button so we're talking a little bit about the buying the racket if we move it forward a little bit more Z light which are also super lightweight rackets that we've recently tested but it's good and if, if you're a, and I know this is a, a real factor for people, if you're a manufacturer based person, i.e. you don't want to buy uh, a £50 Apex racket because you're worried packs, and, it, you know, it's, and, I, and I know it's down to the fact it's man manufactured by Lean In, because, so you've got that assurance behind you, so it really depends how much that matters. I would prefer this racket over the FBs. Uh, so I think you'll get the impression from just watching that video that we talk in quite detail about the racket, its ability to smash, its ability to defend, its ability to drive, its ability to do overhead shots with, uh, control shots with. We really talk in great detail. We, and when you take into consideration all of this information available just on one racket, it's why it takes us so long to update the rackets because there's so much we have to do to make this all work but they literally can't we cannot think of more information that could be given to any one person on any racket and and here you have the button which will take you to our racket sale site where we sell these rackets and all of these are proper rackets um, it's not a very amazing site but it is real in terms of the rackets are real and uh, we are here to sell them. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of Bamton Racket Review. I hope you understand um, a little bit more about how to use Bamton Racket Review and the overall potential of Bamton Racket Review. Don't forget if you if you wanted to see you know all 600 rackets um, 
you could go by manufacturer you could you know there's so many different ways but the filtering system that we showed you the filter tab is so crucial to seeing more rackets than just the quick results tab i hope that's made it clearer to you i hope that's helped any questions do send us an email info at bamtonracketreview.co.uk thanks a lot have a nice day